tinta 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 Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. Did it some Corbin. Morning, everybody. Hey, follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Link us on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter channel. Read the bell for more case. Corbin. Bang, bang. Follow us on our personal YouTube channels. Links in the description below. And today we're reacting. What is happening, Corbin? What is happening, Corbin? Uh, we are reacting to. It's called. It's a Netflix thing. Uh, it's called Indian Grandmas React to Queer Eye. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> Let's uh, watch this. You've seen all the new Queer Eyes. I haven't seen them all, but I've, I've seen them. You've seen them. Oh, yeah. The new Queer Eye is probably one of the best revamps of a show ever. Great. I think I... Because you've seen the new ones, right? No, I haven't seen any of the new ones. I've seen the original. Oh, you've seen the original? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, this is... Um, my bet is about the new ones, which you should watch. Okay. It's better than the original. Okay, cool. Um, wow. Jonathan Van Ness... Uh, is one of the main, you've probably seen him, he's all over yeah, social media. Yeah, he's all over, he's uh, everywhere. He, he's phenomenal, all the new cast is so great. It's funny. Uh, and it's, I think, more, it's more about changing people's lives now than just changing their appearance. Right. And stuff like that. Which, which was the original, uh, the dressing, what was it? Um, anyway. But yes, yes. Uh, this should be interesting, because obviously Indian grandmas, uh, at it's least in fun. America, are more conservative. Yes. Uh, and that's usually how old people are. But also the uh, bill, it didn't pass, but I think they're going to re come mm. back to it, I think, in January, I think is what they said. But the marriage uh, being legalized for gay marriage in India. So hopefully that passes. Yeah. Because uh, they deserve every right, just like everybody else does. Yeah. Uh, but yes, this should be fun. Here we go. Oh, without the climb trees, and I was very good at it. I can't believe it now. Don't worry about anybody. Yes. Enjoy your life. I know. Men are slowly coming around, but I was around when they first were <laughs> <laughs> When they first were who? Hi guys, this is Anirudh and this is Sarla Aunty. I'm Shukri and this is Smovini Aunty. And this is Sarita Aunty. Today we are going to be watching one episode of Queer Eye. Aunty, have you ever watched an episode of this? No. Do you want to watch it? Yes. Before that, can I ask you a what? question? So what yes. are your views on homosexuality? Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> homosexuality? Oh, homosexuality. I'm telling you, no answer is the wrong answer. You can say anything you want. There's the wrong answer. Uh, I think that it's passe already, uh, but uh, I don't think about it because it's a fact of life. I can't explain this thing. Uh, like you're the same uh, person from the same sex. I don't think I could answer that question better. The guy that we're meeting today, his name is Anthony A.J. Brown. This is purple or what? This is that house. That's how houses are there. Oh. And you have to be fine, man. Mm. And go and change lives. But how did you do it? So the host in the show, they're called as Man 5. This one's the culture expert. This one's the fashion expert. This one's the grooming expert. This one's the design expert. And this one is a very attractive show. man who is the food and wine expert. Mm -hmm. And then it's the best of the lot. He is, no? I told you. <laughs> oh my god, Penny. Whoa, ceiling. They go to, you know, different people's houses and they give you a whole name. Oh, you're going yeah. to renovate his house. You're going to renovate him. Oh, and right. His house. Oh, how unkempt it is. Yeah. And it's something like mother. They don't care about their work. So sick with the government. Clean your house. No, this is their work. This is their work. They charge for that. They get a lot of money for this. <laughs> it's nice and feminine. Okay. Why is it concerned about that? And it's a concern for a lot of gay guys. Do you think boys and girls should dress a certain way? Oh, no, no, not necessarily. Girls are dressing up exactly like boys. And boys are dressing so, up exactly. So if boys dress up like girls, what is the harm? When I meet people, sometimes the questions that I face is that, oh, why do you have your head, you know, one side hair. shaved? Are you it's saying it. that you're a man and a woman? And I'm like, Maybe I just like this. Yeah, I'm cool. a friend. It doesn't find a version of what I think. It doesn't have to be. Ye bol rahe hain unko ki tumhe kisi 
दूसरे पर्सन की तरह ड्रेस होने की जरूरत नहीं है अपनी टाइप से ड्रेस होता है बट ड्रेस कॉन्फिडेंट You'll be lighter. So all yeah. the time, it's a pressure yes, in your head. Yes, like, am I looking feminine? Yes, you know, yes. how is my body moving? What you know, like you're you're always in a cage. I wish I did tell my dad, but I just couldn't say it. Now I regret. It. He's not come out as father, but then he's alive. Oh, okay. So, oh. which is one of his biggest regrets in life? Okay. Which is why he wants to come out to his stepmother now. Because better late than never, right? I'll ask you one question. Please do. How you came out? So I, I think I figured when I was 16. I, I came out him. when I was 23. So when I came out to my sister, she was the first person I told. The first person I told was my sister, okay. and she is my best best friend. She knows everything about me. So when I told her, she was like, "Oh, this, okay." She ultimately said, "Okay, listen." It's completely fine. Don't worry about it. This is shocking, but I, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, but I will always be there for you, and I think you should tell it to mom and dad too. So I was, I was very afraid. So one day, I sit with them. I say, I want to say something to you. Don't go idea. Kuch nahi, nahi tha idea. Your parents, you want their acceptance, you know, their love, and you want to be their pet. My dad and mom thought that oh, this is something that should be cured. They were like, how can you like both? Yeah. Oh, maybe this is just a phase, Shruti. Oh, is that? Okay? Yeah. So I say, oh, I'm so tired. Yeah. And I say, I'm uh, I say I'm uh, I'm gay. Oh. And I said that, and I started crying from all the reactions that I expect. I look at them and they say, it's okay. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, finally my parents were like, yeah, we love you. Did did they? Yeah, just just, just be how you are. A huge battle to have won. I think we should be open with this. Hannah, that's what I want. Okay, we will watch the rest of it. I don't even recognize myself. <laughs> oh, he's looking so different. I know. Do you think he's so fresh? He looks like a raja bachcha. He looks like a raja bachcha. This is your room. No more. <laughs> He's so happy. He's really happy, <laughs> isn't it? It's looking as if somebody else's apartment. Would you live in it now? Anybody would love it. Anybody would love it. He's feeling very scared about telling us. If what people say is true, then you also know that I'm gay. Oh, she's smiling. What a good thing. I know, right? That's how it should always be. Relax. Maybe she had an inclination. Maybe she did. She's yeah. a mother, right? I felt the same way when I came out. Oh. It's very, very relieving. I'm always gonna be there for you. It's yeah. like I know you gonna be. Does that happen? They don't show anything. Did you get coming out? Sorry. Sorry. No, 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 no. Did okay. you like it? I like it. Would you catch like more like episodes? My heart every time. Absolutely. Okay, Auntie. Now we're done with the episode. Now, can you tell us what you think about homosexuality? I thought hmm. in our time it was difficult, but now also it is difficult that in five or six years it will be a non-issue. Okay. Number one, accept. And once you accept a thing, half of the battle is won. At that time only, a girl, you have to say courage. You have to take it. You have to take it. You have to pass it. But whatever you feel, you have to open it and say one thing. There is no darkness. There is no darkness at all. Darkness at all. Part of our social fabric, God's creation. He has uh, paved way for everybody. But it's always no such thing. They do. Now we're going to do a small game, okay? Why well, you just have to repeat what I say with lots of enthusiasm? Okay. Yas Queen. <laughs> yas. Yas Queen. Queen. Perfect. This is amazing. I love you. Too. So guys, don't miss this fun show. Where I, you can watch it on Netflix. Can you believe? Can you believe? Very nice. It's fun. I enjoyed it. The clapping ground. Ah, that was great. That was uh, wonderful. I love that. That was with their reactions. Uh, that was yeah. that was phenomenal. Yeah, I was concerned we were gonna get like all of the stereotypical like yeah. shock and oh my goodness and, and uncomfortableness and it, it's great for the video, but uh, obviously the. Broader reality is probably more than not that reaction. Yes, sadly, yes. currently at least. Well, uh, it's obvious in the way that things aren't getting <laughs> passed. Yes, um, but yeah, that was that was wonderful. If you you sh you should just watch it. I'm sure Andrani has watched it. Um, I, I guarantee I, I she probably already. Has. But the the cast themselves, because they each kind of work with the guy to help 
revamp, I guess, their life. Right. In their, their style, their house, well, their it's personality. The, there was a show, it was a guy and a girl years ago that started that whole, at least I saw, mm -hmm. that started that where you revamp people. And what they always got down to was the fact that the way the person carried themselves and dressed was always down to something inside of them that needed healing. Yeah. In some way, shape, or form. Oh, yeah, they self esteem, whatever it was, there was always something deeply personal. They go into, yeah. I think, father daughter right. relationship. Sure. Um, multiple episodes will make you cry. It's, they have gay people that do come out and stuff like that, but it's, it's a mixed. They have old uh, country. They actually, they're, they're stationed in, I think it's Georgia. Really? So it's, well, where it's, in Georgia? Uh, well, they're in Atlanta, but they oh, go, uh, no, ATL they go, is no, they go to the rural areas. Oh, okay. So they go into like rural South. Wow. And that was that's they do that on purpose. They said yeah. They go to like they do multiple people that are big in like church. Yeah. And so wow. they and one of the characters, uh, not characters, one of the guys, he's, his name is Bobby, but he used to be heavily involved in church, and now he's now he's barely like he he has very accepted. He's very jaded against the church because of what how he shock. was treated. What a shock. Um, so they have lots of episodes about, you know, the relationship with these people in the church. And so I would highly encourage, if anybody hasn't watched this show, it's incredible. It will make you cry. I, I can I, tell. I've never cried. But if you are a person that does cry, you will cry. My wife has cried multiple I episodes. I, I guarantee I would cry. But I love that. I love their reactions. These grandmas were Wonderful super, women. super sweet. Yeah. Um, and so that was great. If there's more of this kind of stuff, please let us know about it. Um, I, was, I was also glad to hear their two stories that their families oh, were they accepting. Came out? Yeah, that their families were accepting. And it, uniformly you hear that in the telling of the story, I mean, Ellen DeGeneres talked about this. She didn't know, she, she wasn't expecting to. And that's usually the testimony of people who come out to their moms and their dads is the, the floodgates just open and mm -hmm. they don't, they, they didn't want to cry, mm -hmm. but they can't help it. Yeah. And, and that when they, like Ellen said, the first time she uttered those words was when she had, had come out to her family and just the saying of it for her was an emotional catharsis because it had always been just locked up inside so it's an, it's an unfortunate thing that our society has to deal with because in a perfect reality you, no one should ever have to come out right it should there shouldn't be a, it shouldn't be stigmatized yeah it should it should just be uh yeah i'm gay um oh yeah he's no one comes out as straight right <laughs> <laughs> hi guys i'm straight i just came out to my parents but it's just something that our society through generations for a long long time um it's just how well, it's through how a it's long, been. long time, but it's also culturally throughout history. There have been many societies mm -hmm. where it was been fine. Yeah. Has not annoying. been a problem. Game of Thrones. Yeah, it has been. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. Uh, Middle Earth, obviously. The yes. Hobbits, clearly. Yeah. Mary and Pippin. Yes. I mean, come on, guys. Uh, so, yeah, I, this looks great. That looks great. Uh, like I said, go watch Queer Eye. It's a great show. <laughs> this is not sponsored by Queer Eye. <laughs> Da <laughs> <laughs>